Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin. I wanted to show how to tie a little variation on the pheasant tailed nymph uh, using some different materials. So starting off in the vise, I've got the heavy wet Supreme size 10 from Partridge and I'm going to be using the lager tin. This is the 95 denier extra strong um, and kind of a copperish color. For my tail feathers, I'm going to use the normal pheasant tail here. And I'm going to take it just past the hook bend. I'm going to shorten these guys up. And I'm going to wrap one back underneath just to kind of get them to stick up and splay out a little bit. And then what I'm going to use for the body of this is a cool product from Troutline. Um, I'll put the link to this down below. So this was uh, from Lucian Vases, I think his name's pronounced that way, um, out of Romania. And on the Hatches website, I've been posting a lot of tutorials from this guy over the last five or 10 years and has some really, really cool nymphs. Um, show some pictures of some here right now. But what this is, is it's called its cat gut. And this is the cinnamon in a size small. Um, in the US and Canada, you can get this through Frosty Fly. I'll put the link down below. Um, they're kind enough to send me some of this stuff, but it's really, really cool. And so once you wet it up, it gets kind of limp and you're just gonna use this just like any other normal ribbing material and tie it in here. So the cool thing about this stuff is it turns very transparent and kind of uh, just natural looking when it's wet. It's hard to really describe. And so what some people will do is they'll leave some gaps and put some other stuff, but um, the neat thing about it is that it'll actually show whatever base material you have underneath. So that's why I chose to use this copper colored thread and it'll actually shine through on the pheasant tail um, that I'm tying with this cat gut. And so I'm just laying a nice extra base of this stuff and half it should get out of the way. But as you go and run this forward, it's just like any other material and it kind of feels almost a little rubbery uh, as you're advancing it, but you just keep on doing these really close butted up against wraps with a little bit of pull to it. For the casing I'm gonna tie in here, I've got some of this flat braid, flat braid from Lagerton. Um, I've used this before in a Zonker video. I'm not sure on the color, but it has like this almost uh, it's like a black and an opal and a green. It's really just has a lot of cool color to it. So um, I like using this in a lot of flats because it looks great in the water and it's not just a solid color. Got that there. And then for the dubbing, again from uh, Frosty Fly, links down below uh, is the Hemingway. This is the deer hair dubbing. So this is a dubbing mix that has some deer hair kind of shredded up in the mix and gives this the thorax a really nice buggy look and it can actually substitute having to tie in any legs. So um, as you pull this stuff out, see it's got a dubbing with some of this um, this deer hair mixed in that's all shredded up. You can see it's kind of sticking out a little bit everywhere. You just kind of press back all those fibers that you don't want to the front. Then I bring my flat braid back up to the front. Make off a nice head. With a quick little whip finish. And with some of these longer fibers, um, they're kind of trapped in here. They'll start to cut maybe a few of these like really long stragglers out of there. So if you like this video, please click like down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Um, any of the materials are listed down below. Any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Thanks. Have a good one.